Fifth Kind Clips. Check out our main YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash the fifth kind. In 2010, in the Altai Mountains of Siberia, a cave was discovered. Skeletal remains revealed that the cave had been home to modern humans, Neanderthals, and a wholly new type of hominin that we now call Homo Denisova. Subsequent DNA research has revealed that the Denisovans also have left the imprint of their DNA in modern humans. As we begin discovering more branches of the human story and realizing how interrelated we all are, it raises the question of how far back does human memory go? And what was it that gave Homo sapiens the edge? Now it's clear that something happened to our ancestors that enabled a massive leap ahead of the herd and that turned us into a crop farming, city building, technology inventing civilization. What was it? Since the time of Darwin, questions of human evolution have fascinated scientists. When did humans learn to speak and ask questions, think in abstract terms, and perform feats of engineering? When did humans learn to archive and build their collective knowledge? And then we found Otzi. When we found Otzi, he was gradually thawing out in a melting glacier in the Italian Tyrol. He was about 5,000 years old, but was far from our image of primitive man. He was wearing well-fitting clothing with a range of stitch work. It had different textiles. He was wearing shoes with insulation against the cold. He'd cut his hair, he'd shaved. It even had his teeth fixed and on his belt was an amazing utility pack of what looked like dietary support or medical aids. In other words, he was clever. And it seems to me we keep discovering that prehistoric humans were far more clever than we have previously given them credit for. But when did humanity's intellectual and technological leap forward occur? The Fifth Kind. Click on the links in the description to watch the full video.